What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. And you know, Netflix is constantly trying to tinker with anime and trying to take some anime classics, some really good stories, and then kind of shift them over and turn them into live action remakes, right? And it's been a complete disaster, okay? They've never gotten any of these things right. And we already saw Cowboy Bebop. It was a total train wreck, total disaster, nothing close, right? And now the actual director of the anime is chiming in. He says, basically, uh, yeah, this ain't this ain't nothing like cowboy bebop whatsoever uh original cowboy bebop director shut off netflix's live action remake after one scene it's clearly not cowboy bebop man this cat came in there and said nah this ain't it homie y'all messed it all the way up let's go ahead and read through this Netflix's 2021 live action Cowboy Bebop remake was canceled after one season and 10 episodes, a big failure for what was supposed to launch a blockbuster new series for the streaming platform. In a new interview with Forbes, uh, Shinichiro Watanabe, who served as the original director of the Japanese anime series, said he stopped watching the live action Netflix remake after just one scene because it didn't feel like the anime classic he helped to create. For the new Netflix live adaptation, they sent me a video to review and check, Watanabe said. It started with the scene in the casino, which made it very tough for me to continue. I stopped there and only saw that opening scene. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out of here. I don't know what the hell they sending me, man. But, you know, I got shit to do today. Where are my keys? Let me get up out of this bitch, man. I ain't going to sit up here and watch this crap. What is this? <laughs> it's kind of the same reaction a lot of us had after we watched it for like a couple of minutes. I saw the first episode and I was like, nah, I don't need to spend any more time with this crap. He continued, it was clearly not Cowboy Bebop, and I realized at that point that if I wasn't involved, it would not be Cowboy Bebop. I felt that maybe I should have done this. You should have done this. Absolutely. Man, I wish they would stop just giving away these things to Netflix or these American cats that don't really understand it. They just see it as this big franchise. I think Netflix, Netflix just needs to leave anime uh alone man just show the anime from japan show us the animated stuff don't try to remake anything okay we saw what happened with death note all right death note is just an absolute tragedy okay and then we also saw of course that they're coming out with a my hero academia live action adaptation i'll go ahead and link that above you saw my reaction to that i'm not thrilled about that at all because my hero academia is basically my favorite one and i'm just like come on guys you got to be kidding me here uh yeah so yeah i'm the i'm not looking forward to this and yeah it's because of this type of stuff right although the value of the original anime is somehow far higher now yeah that actually is true you know when you do these like shitty remakes and all of a sudden you know you go back and you have a big appreciation for the original anime you're like man they they knocked this story out of the park man they did such a great job man this little trashy live action crap man get this thing out of the world man destroy it burn it with fire you know what i mean man and netflix's remake was led by john cho and developed by christopher yast uh cho said last year that he was shocked by the streamer's decision to cut the live action remake short why this is a person that don't understand whatsoever how this stuff is working especially number one with netflix netflix cut stuff off real quick right it like a like a disgruntled woman man just she'll she'll cut you off quick I was very worn by the response to the show. Show said, I wish I could have contacted everyone and gotten hugs. I'm mystified a little bit about how you can connect with people that you don't know doing your work, but I won't question it. I will value and treasure it. I'm just really deeply appreciative that anyone would care. It's stunning to me. It was very shocking and I was bummed. Critics were not kind to Netflix's Cowboy Bebop. Variety critic Caroline Framke criticized the series as Netflix bloat. Yep. In her review, adding, it tries to be so much all at once and appeal to so many different potential audiences that it ends up struggling to forge an identity of its own. While the show earned strong ratings in its first week of 74 million viewing hours, it has sharp declines in the weeks thereafter. Viewership dropped 59% in its second week. Yeah, Cowboy Bebop was just a total disaster, as was Death Note. And so now we got to look forward to seeing what they do with My Hero Academia. I'm not looking forward to that whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, I really wish that Netflix would just slow all the way down I think that anime is just a certain type of medium that really works well when the Japanese people that invented it are doing it, okay? They're doing a great job. Um, and if you want more anime, go get, you know, an anime subscription, Crunchyroll, or keep watching the stuff on Netflix, all right? But I don't think there's any reason to live action remake every single thing, okay? It just shows, again, that Netflix is hungry for money, all right? 
they're hungry for money. They're hungry to try to drag in viewers from, you know, existing fan bases. All right. Which, again, isn't a bad idea. But at the same time, like you guys don't understand the stuff that you're trying to adapt. OK, you clearly didn't understand Cowboy Bebop. You didn't understand Death Note. I don't think you're going to understand My Hero Academia. I just my, my confidence is completely gone, even though I believe the director of the My Hero Academia, like one of the films is actually going to be the director of the live action. So that gives me a little confidence. But it's Netflix. You know, I have zero confidence whatsoever in Netflix. And so I don't know how this thing is going to turn out. Anyway, folks, what do you think about these comments from uh, Shinichiro Watanabe? Basically, he was like, first scene off i'm out of here man let me get up and do some laundry or whatever it is i gotta do go ahead drop down in the comments let me know what you think thanks for watching see you next time